Shadrach and Caroline Kithome are in anguish after the death of their one-year-old daughter. Their infant reportedly died in an ambulance on their way to the referral hospital in Wate after failing to receive any assistance from the Matiliku Sub-County Hospital. According to Caroline, upon admission at the Matiliku Sub-County Hospital, doctors did not offer any help save from administrative assistance despite calls all night to help the little girl. Ndoto wangu alikuwa na joto na panda juu. Wakati tulipelekwa kwa ward, mtoto wangu aliendelea na pato na joto. Nikaenda nikaita daktari, wakanipea thermometer nimpime. Nikachukua nikaenda nikampima, nikawarudishia. Nilipowarudishia wao kunipea dawa yoyote. Nikawagoja wakuja wampea dawa wao kuja. She recalls in anguish how after being referred to the water referral hospital, she had to wait for two hours for the ambulance and even that did nothing to assuage her situation as the doctors in the car refused her calls to help her convulsing child. The infant died on the way to the hospital. Tulika hapo mdo wa masama wili. Ndiyo ngari yondoke. Sasa tukiwa kwa ajia, ndiyo mtoto aliendelea na kukonduwazi nika waita. Nika wambia wa msaidia vinyo anaiza msaidia. Waka niambia wa wazi kutibu yu mtoto juu tunaenda wote. Mi nika wachana na wawo. Haka endelea tena. Haka nza kutapika. Nika waita. Hakuna mmoja hakuja hapo. Watu walikuwa mekaa mbele. Tulianda anda kika chacha mpaka mtoto hakaaga. Nikiwa nimemushika. Tulikuwa mimi na mama wengine wawili. Hapa kuwa na daktali yoyote. Walikuwa mekaa mbele daktali wawili na dereva. Sa tukiwaita hakuwa na kuja hata mmoja. Tukiwa hapo kwa ambulance. Shadrach recalled in pain how when waiting for over two hours for the ambulance to depart, he tried in vain to get the doctors to help his child. According to the crestfallen Shadrach, the doctors not only refused to offer any assistance, but they castigated him for allegedly harassing them. Natukiwa hapo inche mtoto wangu alizidiwa, hali ikawa mbaya zaidi. Na nikajaribu kuongea na wawo, wajaribu kumtibu kabla umuingizo kwa ambulance, wakakata, wakaniambia zita wafunza vinyo wanafanyanga kazi, mara ni na warasi. Na pindi zi pindi mtoto wakazidiwa zaidi na baadae wakaondoka. Lakini kita ambato waondoke, ali ya mtoto likuwe isharibika kabisa. Sasa kuondoka kwa wanaeza sema kulikuwa nikaa kazi ya bure kwa sababu... However, the medical superintendent in Matiliku, Natasha Chihanga, revealed that the child had been subjected to unsterile gum cutting prior to her admission in hospital. The patient had, come, had been brought to the hospital after they had been done uh, gum cutting, which is a practice where uh, a traditional person uh, cuts the gums of the baby to treat diarrhea and vomiting. So in most cases, a child has had diarrhea for a while and vomiting, and therefore this child is already very sick. She refuted claims of wrongdoing made by the family and refused to give an explanation as to why the child had died. What the patients, or rather the relatives of the patients are claiming is not true. Here, we do not, we are not rude to our patients. We treat our patients with kindness. Uh, and because we are committed and very passionate about a very good outcome for our patients. Unfortunately, our patients succumb, and that is due to complications I cannot explain uh, because they are private information. The family is now asking for answers and calling for justice for their deceased infant. Reporting for Ebru TV, I'm Ruben Caleb.